Uh, okay, class. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all. Okay, today we're going to cover chapter 3 uh, for the last part on uh, non-motorized transport. Eh? So, this part uh, I'm going to uh, cover for pedestrian facilities. Eh? Okay, uh, the factor to be considered when providing facilities for pedestrians. Eh? Okay, first uh, we have to look into uh, the number and the characteristic of pedestrians. Who are they? Eh? Uh, okay, maybe they are from uh, school children, senior citizen, disabled uh, persons, uh, and uh, elder uh, uh, pedestrians. Eh? Then uh, we look into functional classification of the road. Eh? So we have uh, some category of road. Trail road, uh, collector, uh, federal road, local road, state road. Eh? Then look into the uh, traffic, eh? traffic parameter like speed, volume, and the composition of the vehicular traffic. Okay, then uh, we look into the geometric, eh? geometric uh, layout, the number of the lanes, lane width, and operation of traffic, whether it's one way or two way street or road. Then lo the last one is locality, eh? the area. The character of locality where the uh, facilities for person to be installed or to be provided eh? uh, urban area rural either in the residential area or industrial etc eh? okay, the ability a uh, person to cross a road at grade is depend on the traffic volume and the uh, traffic speed eh? uh, so we, we we have to concern about this uh, parameter uh, this situation eh? As traffic flow rate increase, the availability of safe gaps, which is sufficient for pedestrians to cross the route safely between vehicle arrival at the site, decreases. So, here are uh, the things. Eh? Uh, we to ensure uh, there is a sufficient gaps uh, for pedestrians uh, to cross the road. Eh? So, that's why we have to look into the uh, traffic characteristic or traffic parameter. Especially for the flow and the traffic uh, speed. Eh? This causes pressure to be delayed. At the high traffic uh, flow rates, pressure delay can be become very large. And in some cases, impatient pedestrians may make a risky crossing in short gap in traffic flow. So we're going to avoid this one eh? uh, because they, they're waiting too long. So they tend to put their uh, self in danger. Eh? So they, they take the risky to cross uh, in uh, in very uh, crucial uh, traffic uh, 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 operations eh? regarding uh, high speed, uh, high density, high traffic flow. So this situation uh, invariably results in the occurrence of traffic accidents involve the pedestrians. Okay, the ability uh, the ability of pedestrian to cross can be enhanced by these measures. First, uh, we try to narrow uh, the vehicular roadway. Eh? We try to short the distance for the, the crossings eh? uh, when exposed to traffic and also to help reduce the traffic speed. Okay, providing traffic, uh, no, providing uh, pedestrian refuge islands. I think we have covered this eh, in the traffic coming uh, part. Okay, pedestrian can cross the road stage in uh, Example, the placing a central refuge in a two-way traffic streams allow pedestrians to cross in one direction of flow at a time. Eh? So, I think we, we have this, this sample of the picture. Let us show again. Okay, uh, the third one, reducing vehicle speed and reducing the variability of vehicle speed. Eh? This makes a gap selection by person less subject to error of judgment. Okay, these are some example for pedestrian refuge uh, uh, island or facilities. Eh? So this one is typical one, the crossing, they, they are just uh, construct or install the small one. This one, they equip with the landscape notifications. So as a staggered, eh, a staggered crossing, this one is a direct crossing. This one, they put a, a staggered crossing. Eh? Okay, reducing traffic speed in vicinity of pedestrian crossing will greatly enhance pe uh, pedestrian safety, both for crossing road and walking along the road. Eh? 
However, speed control, particularly on high standard arterial road, is not easy to achieve. Eh? Uh, the imposition uh, of unreasonably low speed limit, which require continual heavy enforcement by a police, is rare if ever, if ever effective. Eh? So we don't have many manpower or uh, enforcement from the police itself. Eh? So somehow it's uh, difficult to handle too many locations. Eh? especially for the low speed, eh? uh, the driver tend to go over speed. However, the setting of realistic speed limit, even if they are higher than may be desired for pedestrian safety, is desirable as this time to reduce the vulnerability of vehicle speed. Okay, the use of speed harm and other vertical deflection devices are not favored on the arterial road because the severe effect this has on the heavy truck and buses. So, as you know, a trail road is quite busy road, especially for uh, public transport, some good and fried uh, transport. Eh? So, it's not easy to install. Uh, we can install, but the effect itself, eh? because this is the vertical effect. So, they're going to have uh, quite, uh, uh, maybe, effect for congestion. Eh? But they are applicable and quite effective on the uh, collector or local street in urban areas. So we can uh, install for this particular speed hump for such a uh, locality as a collector road, local street road in residential area. Okay, thus a speed hump and race uh, platform which may use in conjunction with other local traffic, manage uh, traffic management devices and traffic coming technique can be also used in combination with pedestrian crossing facilities at appropriate locations. So there are some, some examples. Uh, we're combining the traffic coming, uh, traffic coming technique with the pedestrian crosswalk. So these are, I think, the choker. Eh? The, the choker, they just narrowing the road then, and they put the uh, crossing zebra. Eh? This one, they have a crossing uh, the, in conjunction with the speed hump. This one is crossing, they just do the race crosswalk. Eh? Okay, the type pedestrian crossing facilities. Eh? Okay, uh, there are three distinct type pedestrian crossing facilities. Okay, this, uh, the first one is uncontrolled crossing. Occur default where the pedestrian find to be convenient to cross the road. So we just let the pedestrian, they can choose any uh, location that they find is convenient and they feel safe to uh, cross eh? without any control. Eh? We don't provide any uh, special sign or special construction uh, facilities. Eh? No. Eh? Okay, the second one, control crossing. So this one, yes, we provide a special area, special spot as a construct of the facilities, such as zebra crossing, the typical one, eh? uh, school children crossings, uh, signalized crossings, uh, some call it pelican crossing, puffing crossing, that uh, operated by signal uh, light. Eh? Okay, the third category, um, great separated crossing, which is we construct a structure of bridges. Eh? We can uh, use uh, typical bridges overhead bridge, and also uh, they also can uh, construct an underpass, eh? uh, underpass crossing like a small tunnel. Eh? Okay, this one is the, the common zebra crossing uh, to provide uh, area crossing for pedestrians. This one is crossing facilities with a signal light. So they have a dedicated signal light for crossing uh, uh, for pedestrians eh, to cross the road. Okay, also they have a puffing crossing which is uh, incorporated with the intelligent crossing uh, technologies. Uh, so they can sensor, uh, detect any uh, waiting patient, uh, now they can give a signal uh, to uh, uh, let the driver, the, the other vehicles to stop and give a green uh, time, especially for person to cross. Eh? So here I want to share a quite innovative video they uh, created. Actually, this one is the social experiment. Eh? They want to encourage a person uh, to be patient while waiting in the uh, red, red, eh, red light uh, pedestrian crossing uh, signs 
But somehow they, they, they cannot wait eh, because yeah, they want to call. But this approach is quite innovative way uh, to ensure pedestrian uh, they uh, enjoy while waiting. Eh. So they, they are not uh, aware uh, this kind of approach. Uh, want that one wanted them to uh, wait actually eh? so let's enjoy this one huh? And even no pants, I'm born to dance. You're shaking your head, but I'll be shaking my ass, cuz I'm born to dance. I wanna shake it and shake it and shake it, shake it and shake it, girl. Do you wanna shake it? I wanna shake it and shake it and shake it, shake it and shake it, y'all. Watch me dance now. Okay, next we have um, bridges for crossings. So this one is underpass crossing. Uh, that typical like a uh, small tunnel, right? Uh, but in the reality, uh, pedestrian in some uh, uh, region they don't like to use this uh, pedestrian crossing uh, bridge, right? Because uh, sometimes they looking at a higher level, so they are going to step into the stair. Uh, sometimes they carry a luggage. So it's not easy, eh? So some location is not really fully utilized, eh? But if you compare this scenario, it's very amazing, eh? That some cattle, they are really uh, appreciate this crossing, and yeah, they they not try to cross this uh, road with the uh, I think quite wide. The the lane is a double or multi lane, so they tend to use this particular. Crossing, eh? rather than uh, human, eh? the one to use this one. Eh? So I think they are, uh, yeah, very uh, educated eh? uh, cattle because they are uh, using this uh, particular uh, crossing facilities eh? uh, to make their safely crossing. Eh? Okay, now I would like to share uh, another video regarding a scenario where uh, some area, especially in the Europe, eh? So they have a uh, subway uh, facilities uh, for transport, eh? and uh, there are a lot of the uh, uh, connecting to go to the uh, surface. Uh, they have a staircase. Uh, some they provide the escalator, but most of them uh, really use escalator eh? in, in 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 any uh, condition. Eh? So they want to. Uh, uh, change the behavior uh, not really frequent using the escalator but uh, using the staircase eh? because the escalator they provide mainly for the elderly people for the disabled person for the children so uh, this uh, social experiment is quite uh, innovative eh? so you notice that a lot of the uh, public or pedestrian they tend to use uh, a scraper rather the staircase eh? so now they try to install uh, some innovations uh, 
so they want to make the step of the case uh, to produce the sound or uh, a pleasant sound eh? so they just color this one mimic it as the piano note eh? so when it uh, operated so it gives some good effect eh? so now people tend to use this stick as instead of the escalator and they enjoy it eh? even elderly people also want to use this particular uh, staircase eh? so now we notice that uh, a few of people want to use this escalator compared to previous eh? so even the children also enjoy uh, stepping on this staircase eh? so it gives some good uh, result eh? 60-60% people are enjoying uh, use this staircase eh? Even this one also want to use the here. This one they're going to play, eh? They know they want to play. Uh, uh, eh? Okay, that's the guide for selecting appropriate crossing facilities, eh? Okay, we have a category of the road uh, classification or functional of the class road. So, expressway, primary, secondary, arterial, collector, and lottery road. And this one uh, for the uh, federal eh, or the rural area. Expressway, federal, state highway, municipal, municipal uh, road, and uh, municipal for the uh, local road. Eh. So, here we have category of the pedestrian type. Eh. Uh, uncontrolled, so, uh, school children crossing, zebra crossing, parking, pelican, and grade separated. So here they put the indicator. Eh? If A is more li most likely to uh, an appropriate treatment, the B may be appropriate treatment, the C most unlikely to be appropriate treatment. Eh? Okay, uh, Warren eh, for install the pedestrian crossing facilities. The first one for uncontrolled, there is no specific warrant. Eh? To adopt this uncontrolled, but they are used to uh, at the quite high traffic flow at uh, on the actual road, but no on the expressway. Eh? Okay, each uh, case should be treated on the bridge, considering for uh, such the width of the road uh, to be crossed, whether it operating on one way or two ways, the number of pedestrians, the traffic flow rate, the speed and side distance available, and etc. So uncontrolled pedestrian crossing often combined with uh, local traffic access uh, uh, management uh, and also uh, the traffic coming and technique. Eh? Okay, the second one is zebra crossings. Okay, the zebra crossing appropriate in situation indicate the selection guide where the traffic speed indicate uh, at the operating speed eh, at 85 percentile speed less than 70 percent eh, and 70 km per hour. Sorry. Eh? Okay, we can consider to install these uh, zebra crossing facilities if the operating speed at the particular location less than 70 km per hour. And the uh, pedestrian numbers uh, of the flow, okay, 60 pedestrian per hour with total uh, volume vehicular uh, where greater than 100 vehicle uh, per hour. Eh? And when we uh, multiply the number of pedestrian and the volume, is over 90,000. Eh? Okay, the width to be crossed present is one stage, not more than four traffic lanes. And carriage way if not more than 15 meter wide. Eh? So consider as well the, the length of the crossing. Eh? Okay, school children crossings. So school children crossing may be installed at any locations as indicate selection guide where the, the children need to cross on the road to regular basis. Eh? Okay, subject to be uh, subject to phone arrangement being be made uh, children crossing flags that place and also uh, uh, there is the guard eh, supposed to be a guard uh, to be uh, uh, assist the student eh, to cross this road eh, uh, crossing supervisor okay next uh, the third one is pelican or pelican or puffing crossing eh. 
A signal, signalized pedestrian pedicant parking crossing may be installed where any one of following character are met. Eh? So the number of pedestrian, eh, the pedestrian volume over 350 uh, pedestrian per hour for each three meter, uh, each three hours period on average day, or they they also have over 175 pedestrian per hour for eight hour period. Eh? And also, there, there, where there is no central median or pedestrian refuge island provided, the vehicular flow, traffic flow, over 600. Eh? If there is a central median or pedestrian refuge island, traffic flow, the volume will be greater than 1,000. Okay, and then, uh, the, sig the signalized uh, crossing may be placed uh, instead of the school schedule crossing where uh, the pedestrian number over 50 uh, pedestrian per hour for 2 hours and the uh, volume or flow over 600 eh? so we multiply the number of pedestrian and flow flow the vehicle numbers over uh, 40,000 eh? and then um, signalized pedestrian crossing justified replace zebra crossing where there is 2 or more pedestrian involved in accident eh? So this also the warrant eh, if uh, there is involving accident uh, on pedestrians. Uh, so it a part of the indicator or the warrant eh, we should install this pedicle crossing. Eh. The site within coordinate link traffic system close to signalized intersection and crossing level where a danger of vehicles. And also um, a pedestrian signal head and push button equipment should be incorporated as a general practice to all intersections uh, if the change signal in urban. Okay, um, intersection where two hour period average day pedestrian volume over 60 pedestrian per hour. And next, uh, we look into the uh, signalized separated crossing. I eh? know, oh, uh, great separated crossing, which is overhead bridge. Eh? Uh, okay, great, great separated crossing, uh, very costly to be constructed or to build and experience they are generally poor utilized eh? i had mentioned before eh? uh, no one very like to use this particular facilities eh? they are however essential whenever pedestrians need to cross extremely busy street or busy road eh? with high volume high traffic flow high speed why no specific warrant to be adopted for great separated crossing crossing each case should be treated on its merit. Eh? Okay, these are general guide eh, to be considered. Low utilization can be expected at site where traffic flow on the carriageway to be crossed less above 700 per vehicle an hour during period most press uh, pedestrian need to cross the road. Okay, great uh, separated the site within 250 meter of the signal traffic signal. So there is a way from traffic signal, some some traffic signal they provide the uh, uh, crossing uh, uh, green thumb eh, for the pedestrian, but in this case to to be considered to construct this great separated crossing, the location uh, from the uh, uh, pedestrian uh, going to use or going to search uh, uh, crossing facility at signalized the way about two hundred fifty, then is considered to construct the great separated. Eh? High utilization of uh, unit achieve the vicinity of school where the children can be channelized to use a two facility by fencing. Eh? So we're going to avoid students to cross at the road so by fencing. So we can construct these facilities uh, uh, to uh, ensure the uh, school student uh, use this grid and separate eh? Okay, next, uh, the guideline for uh, Pedestrian footpath eh, for sidewalk. Eh? So, this is quite a typical one. They use the block, and this one is the, the, the concrete one. This one is textures, eh? textures block. This one is concrete block. Okay, in view of vulnerability, pedestrian in any concrete with vehicles, including motorcycles, some form of circulation is desirable. Eh? So, pedestrian part of the vulnerable users. Eh? However, where the intensity of land use and pedestrian movement are slow, are low, the road shoulder can adequately provide space for people to walk. Eh? You can use that 
particular which order uh, to assign uh, for the walkway. Eh? Okay, why no numeric warrant are given for the provision to pass along the road? They are generally considered necessary in build up areas and may also necessary at the some rural locations uh, such as uh, vicinity schools, malls, or community facilities where the pedestrian likely to be concentrated. So on the local road, the, where there may very high pedestrian activities and where vehicle and pedestrian shed the road, specific traffic rules are applied. So first, uh, pedestrians are given equal priority to vehicles. Eh? The maximum speed limit of 25 km or less in conjunction with uh, traffic uh, special traffic management arrangements to reduce the degree of threat to the person post the vehicles. Eh? So we have got control the speed eh? because the effect uh, when we could hit the pedestrian is very very terrible eh? with the within the range uh, to be more than 25 or 30 km per hour. Eh? So whether both paths are provided consideration should be always given to the need elderly people and people with disabilities. Okay, the design should be incorporated with following characteristics aimed at the making user friendly or classes of pedestrians. Uh, adequate with the road, adequate width with the prop should be provided. This vary from absolute 0 0.9 to 2.4 meter or wider in the shopping and the high pedestrian activities. Eh? The width itself should be not less than this absolute minimum. Uh, that's one meter eh? and up to 2.5 meter. The high clearance at least 2 meter eh, should be provided. Okay, the pathway should be not obstructed by object at junction business activity, park vehicle or unreasonably obstructed by motorcycle and bicycle. Eh? Any obstacle close to the pathway which could endanger pedestrians, particularly people with impaired visions and should be uh, well delineated eh? and so others uh, construct, constructed uh, made eh? okay uh, clearance at least one meters one meter should be provided between uh, traffic lanes and footpath this clearance increase the safety of pedestrians and reduce the inconvenience caused by other splash from vehicle tire in the wet side that's why we need uh, the clearance at least one meter eh? Because sometimes in the wet uh, conditions, they have a water ponding. Eh? So by having uh, some uh, clearance or buffers with a meter, uh, this give uh, some protection to the, or at least the, the pedestrian not affected by any splash eh? for the water or the ponding area. Eh? Changes in the level along and beside the path should be minimized where it's not possible to avoid the step. Particularly, can needs to be taken to properly identify them so that they can be seen, especially by people or with impaired vision. So, partial face should be firm, even the smooth and skip resistant, especially in wet weather. That's why uh, most of the location they use a uh, paved block or texture uh, block, and also concrete, eh? concrete finishing. So, they give very uh, uh, we can say uh, quite skid resistant eh? especially in the wet weather uh, condition eh? okay i think that's all to cover uh, the uh, non-motorized specifically on the pedestrian eh? okay that's all thank you